everyone, my name is Nicola and I'm a Senior Reporting Analyst at Business Stream. So my job involves looking at lots of different pieces of data and information and using that to build charts, graphs to tell a story about how the business is performing. So when I was at school, my favourite subject was maths. So I left after fifth year and went and studied maths with statistics at the University of Glasgow. So when I first started uni, I wanted to be a maths teacher because I thought that that was the only job I could do that would allow me to use maths every single day. However, I soon learned that there are so many other jobs that you can do with a career in maths and science subjects. So for example, you can go into finance, so you can become an accountant, you can also become an engineer, you can start your own business, or like me, you can become a data analyst. So when I left uni, I first started in banking. Um, and I was there for a couple of years and then I moved into media. So I got a job at STV as a reporting analyst. Now this was a really, really fun job because um, I was actually based in the same building as the TV studios. So a big part of my job involved watching programmes being filmed and then report back on how many people had been watching that particular programme. So for example, I provided a lot of insight for shows like X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, I'm a Celebrity and even Love Island. And then for the last six years or so, I've worked for utilities companies. So these are companies that provide a lot of essential services, so things like water, electricity, internet. Um, and I used all of my background in maths and my background in um, analytics to really start problem solving and trying to understand how much people are using and then try and see if there's ways in which we can improve the service that we are providing for people. So in my job just now I use a lot of artificial intelligence technologies and that just allows us to provide really interactive reporting so areas of the business can then start to see how their teams are performing and it's all up to date so as soon as they come on to the, in the morning they get a latest view of how the business is performing. So the things that inspire me the most, and the people that inspire me the most are people who are not afraid to be themselves, people who set themselves goals and then go on to achieve them. So my piece of advice for anyone who would want to become a data analyst or a career in analytics would be to always push yourself out of your comfort zone. So right now that could be joining lots of different clubs um, while you're still at school to just to really start growing your confidence because a really big part of being an analyst is talking to loads of different people, it's going out there, it's every area, every team in a business wants insight so and reports built for them. So a big part of your job is going out and gathering that information and just talking to a lot of people. So growing your confidence just now will really help you if you want to go into a job like this. Also, I would say it's so, so important to always be learning new things. So technologies are always changing, there's always new softwares coming out, there's changes to computing languages. So if you're always learning new things and always learning these changes, it will really, really help you. But I think one thing to just remember is it's okay if you don't know what you want to do just now. Um, when I was your age, I definitely didn't know what I wanted to do. So it's just important to try lots of different things and find something that you're passionate about. Because if you're passionate about it, then you will love going to your work every single day. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.